in Parkdale, in Toronto's downtown west. Tenants are in month two of a good old rent strike. Metcap Living Management, a Calgary holding company, manages 19 Parkdale mid-rises and is looking to price their tenants out of their homes. In Toronto, landlords can increase the rent as much as they want for any new tenant in buildings more than 25 years old. It's not unusual for rents to double. So landlords like Metcap passively push out long-standing tenants by letting nature take its course. In one case, a tenant who complained of a bed bug infestation was told, don't worry, they're just baby cockroaches. And when the landlord spends any capital on necessary upkeep, they call it an upgrade and use it to justify jacking up the rent. But tenants in Parkdale are holding back their rent and using direct action to resist major rent increases Metcap is demanding from the landlord court. Parkdale remains one of downtown Toronto's few working-class districts. Polish, Italian, Portuguese and Tibetans formed communities there. The rents were cheap, but it was still close to the city and the work. When the Queen Street Mental Health Facility deinstitutionalized, Parkdale was where former inpatients found housing near their services. But the real estate boom turned Parkdale's industrial district into the hipster condo conurbation of Liberty Village. The coffee got more complicated, the rents skyrocketed, and the absentee Parkdale landlords are trying to cash in. On June 7th, Metcap lawyers are about to argue for a major rent increase at the Landlord and Tenant Tribunal. But the tenants on rent strike since May Day occupied the Landlord's Court and shut it down. Sadly, no rent increases or evictions got processed that day. Housing is a right, not a commodity. But public housing's been left to rot. Rental stock is parceled out to tourists through Airbnb, and gentrification prices people out of their own city. The rent strikers in Parkdale, like occupiers of vacant buildings in Montreal, and eviction protesters in Vancouver are coalescing into a nationwide housing rights resistance movement. The strike weapon is too important to be used exclusively by unions. Communities need to organize and strike everywhere. In Toronto, for Rebel TV, I'm Alberto Da Silva, not Rex Murphy.